Previously on Final Fantasy VII Remake. Boxes! I love boxes! I love boxes! Boxes are my favorite! More boxes! This game just knows me. I feel like it really gets me. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, da, 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 da. Map, uh, nope. Map load in. Map, 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 map. Oh, I didn't actually get the fully charged tempo. <gasps> Jesus Christ! Jesus Christ! Welcome back to FS7R. Here we are once again. Come to kick all of your asses I have. Gonna win the game this time. Why does my... It looks different than I remember it. I must have changed my TV color settings and just not set them back. Uh, hello, buddy. Let us go back to... Wait, let me check, actually. Pretty sure we completed every quest either, right? Ah, looks like we did, which is pretty cool, actually. We found the Angel of the Slums, we made some friends, and now we're going off to end this entire area without ever having gotten that yellow materia at the beginning by the church, which makes me so sad. Oh my god, I wanted both of those materia so badly, but you, I, don't, I don't know. Maybe you get them later if you go back to the church? I mean, I'm assuming you can eventually go back to... Oh. Oh, I was going this way. I don't know what you're telling me to wait a sec for. I'm assuming you can go to every area so, again. you coming? Yeah. But it's like, I don't know how to get those materia. And if don't, you don't, you shouldn't put those there if those are late game materia. That shit's always been such a tease to me, which makes it so unsatisfying if you go and get them and they're not good and you had to wait until the end of the game or for new game plus or something. It's just like, why? This could have just, <gasps> purple materia. What's up, Aerith? What's up, cutie? Uh, you talking to the... So, yeah. It was that kind of day. Let's go. Shouldn't keep mom waiting. Hey, what'd they say? Good work today, guys. Kidding. They didn't say a word. But, you know... Uh, never mind. It's not like you'd believe me, after all. Makes me wonder what happened to her dad. Like, maybe her dad was the, one of the flowers Probably there? Not. And she's just here. <laughs> Tell me anyway. Really? Aww. Yeah. Let's go, Cloud. Character development. Let's go. Longer now. The flowers, they, they have something important to tell us. Maybe that's what your materia something is. Something they need to share with us. At least, that's the feeling I get. But before they can, there's a final step that has to be taken. Otherwise, we won't hear them. Maybe I should just give up. Honestly, it's what I do best. Just don't, don't, don't say that about yourself. You fooled me. From what I've seen, you're no quitter. Exactly, you're the most stubborn well, bitch in the West. Today's special. That's why I've been working my butt off. Uh, what's so special about it? You're here. <laughs> okay, time to go. But I want the materia. Learn to talk to her. <laughs> Did He's telling that to himself. Uh, Good work today, guys. <laughs> That's the spirit. Aww. Oh, it's so cute. Okay, I'm gonna go get the material now. 
Oh, that was adorable. What are you? An orb of me 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 me. That's my favorite. I love me 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 materia. Me me materia. Me me. Tora, Tora, not want to go to hell. You're heading in already. Um. Nah. Oh. Not quite yet. Okay. Considering it's giving me that prompt, I'm assuming maybe there's a chance we'll be able to go back to the slums, to the church. If we can't, we'll be entering the house. So I'm just going to let you guys know that. So forgive me while I go check. Oh my god. It seems to be letting me. I legitimately spent like five minutes trying to make my way here. And I found it. And I found some boxes along the way, but that's not the point. We're gonna get it. I need it. Show me what you've got. Give it to me. Oh, it's just an. <sighs> if I could kill myself, I probably fucking would. Ah! Uh... <laughs> Why were you so poo poo? I spent all that effort. I'm pretty sure there was another one somewhere, right? There was another one. There was another thing. There's no way it was just that, right? There was something else. Oh my god, don't tell me that was really it, man. I didn't just come all this way for a chakra. I haven't been suffering all this time for a fucking chakra materia. Oh my god, why wouldn't they do that to me? That is so fucking not okay. <sighs> suffering from success. DJ Khaled, another one! Ooh, ah. Oh, I'm so much suffer. And you can't even go up there. I'll see you guys back at the town. Can I jump off of here, please? Can Cloud, can you, like, Aerith, will you be my Kushoku? I don't think that's the right word. Will you kill me, Aerith? I have two blades. You can use one. I'll let you decide. But I would like to stab myself with a buster sword. So you can choose between a baseball bat and the iron sword. <sighs> okay, back there we go. <gasps> box, not box! This journey was worth it after all. Well, it gave me a talisman. Never fucking mine! This game lets me down over and over. This game hurts me. Breaks me down, tells me it'll be alright, and then looks me in the eye and spits in my fucking face. I thought it would be quite alright to come back here, but the game told me no. You dumb fucker. You came back for nothing. You tried your hardest to get back here. All for a fucking chakra material. Sure you got a Moogle medal along the way, but was that really worth it? Fuck no. Fuck no. Fuck no. You fucking think it was, then you're a stupid cunt. <gasps> boxes! I love boxes. I got two Moogle medals! Well, I guess they're actually pretty useful now, right? Now that we know what they do. <gasps> we have enough Moogle medals to go see Moggy and ask him for some shit. To get some more SP points, I think. For the people. So, Moggy, we go! What? You're holding back? <sighs> Alright, fine! Let's see how you do at this speed! Children's hideout, going to the children's hideout. Gonna talk to children. What did I. Oh my god. I have the ability to score between compass and mini map. I didn't Welcome know that. Area. What's up, Moggy? Let's buy. Can you pass me this real quick? Yes. Oh, I don't have enough for you. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> oh my god, I'm at four. <laughs> Silver staff. Oh, this is another Aerith weapon. Yeah, I want this. 
That way I can at least, um... That way I can get a new skill for Aerith. I've got a whole mountain of Moogle medals now. Oh, that's Soon awesome. I'll be able to make everyone here super happy. Oh, That's wonderful. So, like Mog the Moogle, you'll be able to make all our hopes and dreams come true? Not just yours, Kubo. The wishes of every single person in the swamps. It's a lot of wishes. Lots of people in Midgar love to collect Moogle medals, you know. They'll pay anything to get their hands on more. Aww. I'm using the money to set up more shops all throughout the slums, Koopa. I'm giving jobs to the other kids and making life better for everyone here. Aww. And that's how I'll make everyone happy. Aww. That's one way of doing it, Koopa. That's adorable, Koopa. Happiness for you two. Aww, so happiness for me, Koopa. From selling directly to these collectors. Uh, Moogle Magic, Koopa. Next time, keep your plans to yourself. Thanks, you guys. By working together, I know we can make the world a happier place. God's a good guy. He's just a stubborn fool. Hey, Hedgehog Pie dead. I hate those things. Okay, back to Aerith. As we go. I think I'm going to stick with the mini-map. I like having a mini-map more than I like having a compass. If only I knew that there was a button to change between them all. So what does L1 do? Before it was making a noise and I was pressing it. It's really weird. <laughs> what the fuck was that noise? Did she just nut? I just went past her. <laughs> like, bro, are you are you are you fucking good? I'm like, what the hell? I, I didn't I didn't need to hear all that. Chat, uh, chat. Excuse me. Pretending I stream comment section. Y'all need to remind me to stop swearing because I'm trying to tone it down a bit. Gotta, gotta loosen some words. Gotta loosen some words from my grit, grasp. Gotta, gotta calm down with some of the curses that I say. I want to become a little bit more family friendly. Yeah. While still staying true to myself. One day. That was one day worth of work, huh? We literally cleared the slums in one day. Nice. Where have you two been? Uh, I've been worried sick. Sorry. We got a little sidetracked. Dinner's ready, in case you're wondering. Ah, great. But before we sit down, I want you to make up the guest room. Gotcha. Take a load off, okay? Aww. <laughs> She's just hopping up the stairs. It's so cute. What are you to my Aerith? Judging by those eyes, I'm guessing you're a soldier. Ex-soldier. I hate to ask. But would you leave tonight without any fuss, no questions? You boys made a trade, a normal life, for power. You can't have it both ways. I'm back! Good. Now, I hope you're hungry. Starving, right? Hmm. That's unfortunate. Dude, Aerith is so fucking cute and good, on, good at picking up certain cues, and it's just like... She's such a good character. All the characters in this game are good characters. So proud. Oh, that's Cloud's mom. Claudia, are the you for real? Become? Women must be hounding you day and night. She does kind of look like Aerith's mom, though. Yo, she's fucking you know, pretty. Oh, my God. In the big city. I'd feel a lot better if I knew you'd found a good girl. One who'd make sure you didn't get into trouble. Oh, she's so... Her voice I is so nice. Myself. An older, more mature girl. I could keep you on the straight and narrow, and tell you when you're being a silly goose. Aww, it's so That's cute. The perfect type for you, I'd say. So not Jesse. Kind of rude. <gasps> oh, that was fucking pretty. Those eyes were beautiful. Holy shit. <laughs> that gave me actual chills with how well done those. That 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 that. that, that ah. Oh my god. Don't want to overstay my welcome. Herod's going to be right outside the door. I guarantee it. Is there anything in this room for me? This is a tiny ass bed. Me in real life is too big for this bed. It makes me feel sad. She really going to be... Oh, she's not outside this door. Sad. Just try to sneak out of the house without letting Aerith spot. Without letting Aerith spot you. Be careful not to bump into anything by accident. Aerith will notice if you make too much noise. And then she's going to send me back to my room. I see how it is. Okay. Uh. What are you doing? Uh, uh, nothing. Did you have a bad dream? 
Beth, don't worry. You'll feel much better in the morning. Uh, but I promise to take you straight home. Uh, uh, okay. Uh, it just says game over and puts me back to the very beginning of the game. Uh, I didn't, I didn't see there was a bucket Beth, there. Please don't let her hear me again. Okay, I try my best. Okay, open the door then, Cloud. Minimap over compass. Minimap over compass. Okay. Walk right. Up. Ah, ah. There's no, like, slow walk button. Why is this fucking house so messy? Wasn't this messy earlier? You're leaving? So, how do I get to Sector 7? It's simple enough. Just cut through Sector 6. It isn't exactly safe, but you should be okay, seeing as you're a soldier. Was one. Promise me, you'll never talk to Aerith again. Please. You got it. Thank you. Hmm. The price of strength, huh? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No, I get it. When you're a soldier, bad things happen. You don't want her to make connections with someone who you know is going to die. Wow. Oh, I don't know if this is picking up as well as it was on camera as it is on my TV. Ah, uh, the fog here makes this... Let me actually throw compass on for now. Fog here makes it so damn pretty. Wow. Imagine getting to live here? That's... That's, in, that's insane. That's insane. I mean, that's so damn pretty. Uh, unfortunate, though. We have to say goodbye to Aerith. Are we going to Sector 6 now? Which is cool. Ooh, I want to see what this area looks like. Oh, I can't even touch this. I can't interact with the gate anymore. Oh, those lights are pretty at the school. I'd imagine that, um... Everything else is, like, closed off with very few to no people. Hi, miss. If it isn't the new florist... I appreciate you helping the kids out today. Thank you. They won't stop talking about the soldier who saved the day. Oh, and make sure to give my thanks to Aerith, too. Yeah. Sure. You should go get some rest. You've been up for far too long. Can I go inside the school, I wonder? Yeah, I wouldn't I wouldn't think I'd be able to. Um, I don't know if Chadley's going to be awake or if he's even in the same spot if he is. What's up, old timer? Are you good? Hear the sound of the reactor exploding. Oh. Sorry about that. Unfortunate. Oh, there's a box not box that I'd opened previously. I don't know what. No what the hell? You 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 all right, buddy? Huh. I guess at nighttime you see the people who have really been hurt. Now oh, you guys seem fine. <laughs> oh, that's okay. Uh, the place looks nice. Chadley is over here normally. That's a potion brewery. Nope, no Chadley. Oh, well, that's good. I'm glad your Gramps has been doing better. All right, I guess it's time to leave, and we're gonna see Aerith appear somewhere along the way. I'm assuming, because that just makes sense to me. Wow, this place looks so damn different at night. I wish you could explore the world and there was like actual like full day and night cycles. Yep, I knew it. Well, look who it is. Talk about a coincidence. What are you doing here? Waiting. Why? Because I'm not sick of you yet. <laughs> oh my you god, I'm never going to pick a thumbnail for this video. There's so many good pleasure. ones. Are you good, Cloud? Or is it... It's not the degradation, right? This Or is this one actually the degradation? That one didn't seem like a previous thing. Like a different timeline well, thing. Is something wrong? Man's actually crying. That time he was like legitimately just in pain. Or maybe... A side effect of the cellular degradation is... Being able to you see, see different timelines because of They're the Mako infused in your plan. blood. Which means that Mako is not just the lifeblood of the planet. It is, as we already knew, completely pure energy. 
So the riddle I want to listen to what they're saying, time. so I'm just gonna I'm gonna continue that thought later. They, you're done? Really? <gasps> oh, I love it. And that's the underside of Sector Six, Wall Market, a real special place. But I'm sure you already knew that, right? I didn't tell you. I enlisted pretty much right after I left home. Don't know much about this place, or any of the slums. Well, it took a lot of people to build Midgar, and they all needed to blow off steam. So some traders built an entertainment district. <gasps> Inns, shops, oh, hell yeah. Works. Sex district. Red lights. Let's go. All over. <laughs> God damn it. Booming, money was flowing. Which attracted the attention of some guys who didn't much care for the law. And now there isn't any. Right. But instead of trying to solve the problem, the government decided to just wall it in. And that's how Wall Market began. Out of sight, out of mind, as the old saying goes. For the folks in charge, there's no better way to deal with it. So it's like a giant veil. Yeah. Wanna see what's behind it? Not really. That's good. Because I know a better way to get to Sector 7. One that, tragically, doesn't go through Wall Market. And it's just through this tunnel here. At least it was. Back when I was a kid. Uh, yeah, well, too bad for you, because I want to go to Wall Market. So, later. No, you don't get to tell me no. I'm going this way. I, it's not stopping me for some reason. Oh, you motherfuckers. Don't tempt me. Oh, this bitch is actually taking me there, isn't she? Aerith, you sly wench, you. You're taking me there either way. This is the way there. The other way would take us to sector set to the sector the sector seven. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think it's crazy though, because like Mako is a consistent thing through all the time, right? Which means that it's technically both infinite and completely limited. Because if you get rid of it in the past, then you're getting rid of it in the future. But there's a future version of it where it's infinite because you're not taking any of it, which is crazy. You really needed to duck, my guy? What the hell? <laughs> okay. Well, I guess knowing how your sword is placed on your back, you did. Ooh. It's been like this, you know, ever since the plate fell. Oh, no way. way. It'll be an adventure. All right. I guess if you say so. And let's look for some box, not boxes along the way. Oh, none there. Sad. <gasps> oh, a Jerpical. I bet I misread that. Chirpsicle? Uh, okay, you know what? You're not gonna get up in his face, Cloud, so I'm just gonna sass you. Allow me. Aquatic monsters that prefer dark, moist places and feed off the blood of living creatures. They detect their prey through vibrations and temperature changes. These creatures start planet spinning when interrupted. While in this state, they can shrug off melee attacks, use long range attacks instead, stop them from spinning, and they become susceptible to staggering. Don't overdo it. Alright, Eric. Let's do it then. Ability, Arcane Ward. Cloud. You can do it. Hang back. Get Cloud, get up in there. Deal with that. Okay, fine. Aerith, you can do it instead. And let's get a soul drain. You've got this. Taking over. Nice. Now that it's been stopped, let's finish it off with a focus thrust. Woo. Also, just reminded myself. I need to change equipment really quickly. Iron blade back to the nail bat. And I'm wondering why. Well, if you look at it, I only have proficiency 90%. Uh, Miss Aerith, uh, where are you? You are proficiency 100 for this. So let's reslot our materia from here. And see, yep, yeah, those are all stronger, so that's unfortunate. Oh, we actually can put more materia on you. You already have Bardi's HP with Prey. Prayer materia. Oh, that's cool. So let's give you. A, I guess we could give you a healing materia, but I don't know if we need that. I wanted to give you an MP up materia. And then we don't... Oh, we do have a summon prayer. I forgot about that. And let's give you a... Oh, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> uh, let's use a spectral cogwheel. So we can get Aeris limit up constantly. I think I'm going to put that on to either Tifa or Barret after. 
uh, when I get back with them. But for the time being, or if I get back with them, I'm assuming we will, because we're going to the Sector 7 slums. And it wouldn't make sense to have, like, giving you the ability okay, to then. continue putting shit on these characters. Lester Drake! Oh, you motherfucker. See, what I just realized as well is, when I use this Disorder ability, what actually is going to happen is that... There we go! I didn't need to use it. Yeah, I was going to say, I'm literally just going to have to put it away immediately, because I can't even hit the Lesser Drake with its ability, with what it does. One more shot! One more shot, my butt! Go on. Okay. Ability... Sorcerer Storm, Lesser Drake. <gasps> that was cool! That was cool! That was really cool! I Her attack is what did it, and I thought that that's what it was. It just automatically did the stagger gauge. But that's what's that's cool as fuck! Focus thrust on that bitch. <laughs> okay. Alright, put it away. Now we can swap back from the nail bat all the way back to the iron blade. It wasn't so bad. It wasn't so bad, you're right. Um, hmm. A big arm. Kinda cute, don't you think? Uh... I'm not sure what if you <gasps> boxes and a box, not box. Oh my god, let's fucking go! And he gave me a Mooga. Well, I mean, I guess I'm getting better at appreciating the fact that Mooga medals are actually pretty helpful. This arm is going to be used to unclog the way, yeah. Oh great! Someone's pulled up the ladder. Yeah, yeah, I knew it. I knew I it. If we can use this. Yeah, I knew it. Am I going to get to control each individual finger and shit, or is this going to be like a weird thing? Oh, you're cringe. Huh? I don't know what the warning is for. Raise or lower arm. Rotate arm. Have earth climb on and off. For safety, only load or unload the arm within the safety area marked by the yellow lines. Thank you and have a great Shinra-tastic day. It's this way. Okay. Do this. Here's an idea. I'll hop on and you give me a ride. Okay. Are you serious? Absolutely. I'll throw down the ladder for you to climb up after. Cool. So then get on. <sighs> I feel like the hands shouldn't be able to bend like that. I'm not going to lie. But, like, I mean, obviously it makes sense. What's over here? Nothing. Unfortunate. <laughs> I thought there might be something. Let's put her all the way up. Really, bro? I had to do. I had to like move it up that much. She couldn't like jump off where it was. He's a cake. Give me a sec. And here comes the ladder. Well, Ooh. what did I tell you? Can I move it more? I want to move it and like smack someone. What the hell? Why would it auto default positions to move back there? That seems like a really stupid idea. You did it. Yeah. Oh, she's so cute. It's a high five, dumbby. Oh, oh, and she respects that he doesn't understand or know. Oh my god, she's so fucking cute. Oh my god. What the fuck are you? Another sweeper. It's a prototype. All right, Aerith. It's your turn to do some damage here while it's attacking Cloud. Uh, uh, nope, you don't have it up yet. Abilities, uh, Sorcerer Storm. Mr. Cloud, get on over here. Assess this motherfucker. An early prototype of the Sweeper. Due to malfunctioning AI the system that engineers could never fix, these units were deemed a failure and discarded in the slums where they lived on. After repeated attacks, the arm section goes into a rampage. Inflict a certain amount of damage to shut down the rampage mode and fill its stagger gauge. Reek to lightning. Okay. God, I want to learn how to like use combat efficiently in this game because it seems so fucking cool. Cloud run. Okay, you didn't get hit anyways. You're fine. Uh, spell Spira on this bitch. Let's attack its arm. Yeah, we can only attack the right arm, huh? That means the left one doesn't. That means the left one doesn't work. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Cloud. Let's get you in here. Abilities triple slash. Bomb. 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 And you can come over here, Miss Aerith. And you can do some big, big girl damage. Big boy damage. Big boy. You want to stop? You want to not stop attacking, please? Thank you. Whoa, bud. What the hell were you thinking? He's praying, Mr. Cloud. Get on over here. Oh, fuck. Jesus Christ. 
It's your turn. Cloud, get up. Cloud, get up. Spells, fire a super prototype. Time to burn. So it's my oh, turn? because we broke its shit. Yeah, 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 that makes sense then. As to why it would this jump on him instead. Uh, no, pray, please. You can do it. And now, Cloud, now that it's done like that, you can come over here and build that ATB gauge for a triple slash, which should kill. Oh, Hell yeah. You used to be a way through. So this area is what was blocked before. Hello. I wonder if someone blocked it off because of all the monsters that kept showing up. Pretty dangerous place for kids to play. Raised in the slums, remember? You're tough. Hmm. That's supposed to be a compliment. You're you're kind of dissed for that, Aerith. I'm not gonna lie. Um, but okay. This is not. Oh, over here. See, that makes sense. 